you must be delighted to have picked up another point at least, and uh, that's two wins. Uh, um, not delighted. No? Not, not delighted, no. Okay. Um, mm, sort of satisfied, if you like, yes. with a point. Um, I didn't think we were at our best. First half, I thought we had good control of the game. Yeah. Um, without threatening the goal too many times, I thought it was us deciding what happened on the pitch. Um, and we asked for the players to do certain things in the second half, which would give us a better chance of winning the game. We didn't do that. You have to give credit to Cardiff for doing that, uh, for improving their game, I felt, in the second half. But some of that was also down to our poor play, uh, which meant, um, yeah, we were inviting a little bit of trouble, to be honest. Um, yeah. So, look, it's a clean sheet. We defended well as a team. We give very few chances away, but we didn't create too many um, ourselves. And I said before the game, and one of the first sort of interviews when I got here, we need to improve at both ends of the pitch if we want to be at the top end of the table. And we've improved maybe at one end, but not at the other. That takes some time. Yeah, goals is what everyone's looking for, isn't it? And yeah. uh, that, they've been hard to come by for you and certainly yeah. hard to come by for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You notice that, obviously, when you're, you're doing your research before the game. And that was very similar with Preston last week as, as well. Um, so I suppose we're hoping that we keep that clean sheet. And then um, with our ability on the pitch, we we create those opportunities where um, we go and we go and win the game. We Unfortunately, we didn't do that. Well, at least you gave yourself a chance, changed the whole front uh, line and, you know, yeah, go. That's the thing, isn't it? Yeah, no, no, we felt that, you know, with, with 20 minutes to go, 20, 25 yeah. minutes to go, we felt that the, the front three might change the game and a bit of pace, a bit of movement, a bit of ability, just give them a, a different um, problem to face. It didn't quite work out like that, but then... Nearly, because uh, Mide um, nearly created a goal for us. Tyler did. Ilius is always likely to produce something. Um, so it, it nearly happened, but that was probably the story of our night, really. Uh, it was a nearly performance. Yeah. What have you learned in the first two games that you perhaps didn't know beforehand? Um, that we've got an honest group of players. Um, a pl players who are willing to listen and want to get better. Um, but I think they also know there's room for improvement. So my job is to make sure that I'm on their case every day, not accepting mediocrity um, and to drive them forward because with the ability we have in the dressing room, then we have to be competing at the top end of this division, in my opinion. And um, if you can look at that game two ways, we, we take a point or you can look at it and think that's, that's two points missed. Bit of a mixture of emotions, really, at the moment. But you are within striking distance, yeah. and as Mark Hudson was saying, what it proves tonight is there's not an awful lot of difference over twenty odd teams. No, no, there's not. You've, you've got to look at the league. It's you know it's ridiculously tight. Um, you win a couple of games and you can jump a lot of places. I think if maybe if we'd have lost at Preston, we'd have been about 13, 14 from the division. And, yeah because we nick the game and win 1-0 with six. Yeah. Um, it is so, so tight and the, the line in this division, it, you know, so marginal. Um, so Cardiff could have easily won the game 1-0 tonight. Yeah. And that changes their outlook. We could have nicked the game 1-0 uh, near the end. Um, it's it's important. You don't get too carried away with the wins and you don't get too down with a lot, mm -hmm. the losses. Um, we have to always look at trying to improve our performance and tonight our performance wasn't good enough to take the three points. Well, it's a, it's a mad period in a mad season Yeah. with uh, with a mad league. Yeah, that that's pretty much a good summary, yeah, <laughs> it is. And um, sometimes, yeah, people, it's you have to remember, you have to remind them of that. It, you, you pl we're playing in such a tough league with a, the line so marginal, it's so competitive, it's relentless, we've had a break as well um, you got to fit games in and it can be sometimes a little bit of luck or it that decides the games it's um, it's fun to be involved in um, and that's the beauty of the game I suppose that's why we all do it. Yeah.